Structured FrameMaker has the ability to work with DITA and DITA map directly. In front of you, you see FrameMaker 11, and we have an open DITA map. Note that it's called DITA map hierarchy. Let me actually uh, swiftly open up the um, folder in which these files are saved. And so what we're actually looking at is this file right here, the one that's called hierarchy DITA map. Let's go back into FrameMaker. This is structured FrameMaker, and you'll see that each of the um, these are actually samples from the DITA Open Toolkit. Now if I go ahead and open up any one of the uh, topics as I'm doing here, you'll see that it will open up and it will format properly and look lovely. Um, if I take a look at the structure view, we can see the normal structure that goes with this uh, this DITA Map Open Toolkit. Um, however, one of the challenges with working with DITA Open Toolkit is being able to achieve good PDF output and also being able to swiftly create a table of contents and things like an index or perhaps a um, list of tables, list of figures at the end of the project. Um, this can be done uh, with DITA Open Toolkit without FrameMaker, but it takes many additional steps. Fortunately, FrameMaker has created a simpler solution. Uh, when we're ready to achieve this, uh, we can actually temporarily create a FrameMaker book that has an equivalent um, structured FrameMaker chapter or component uh, for each one of the uh, topics that we're looking at. And here's how we do this. We simply take the DITA map and we do a file save data map as and we decide that we want to save this as a book with components as we do this this just takes a few moments it's going to save it into the same directory that our files were located in and when it's complete uh, we will see that FrameMaker will redisplay with a new window and this new window will actually be a FrameMaker book that will have components in it. And here we see the book in front of us now. Um, to make this a little bit clearer, I'm going to go ahead and dock this so that we have the hierarchy book right next to the data map. And you'll see that it has almost identical structure. Basically what's happened is the higher level topics have all been clustered together as uh, what would basically um, behave kind of like uh, chapters, uh, chapters and subsections. Notice more importantly though that we have some new components that were not here before. For instance, we actually have a title for our book. If we double click on that, we'll see that basically FrameMaker out of the box is packaged so the Data Open Toolkit will publish for you um, with a special cover for the book. And this can be modified. There's a template that you can go in and actually change this to have a different logo or to have your own information. More importantly, notice that you also have a full table of contents generated automatically. You'll also see at the end of this book with components, and I'll go ahead and uh, collapse that for a moment, um, that also a, a automatic list of figures, list of tables, and index are generated. In this case, these files happen to be empty because we did not have the required elements in our data open toolkit to make those display properly. If we wanted to see what the um, PDF output would look like, uh, we can go ahead and take a quick look at um, where these files came from. And basically what we'll see is down here where our data open toolkit is that we just opened up, we'll see that it has uh, just generated all of these um, FrameMaker files. Now previously I've actually saved the PDF file, so we can take a quick look at that. And here's what your published PDF output would look like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just simply resize this to the page level so we can go through it more easily. I don't need to worry about the accessibility at this moment. And here is the cover. Here is the table of contents, and then as we go through this, this will begin to look very familiar as we see the um, tasks that are very typical and very well known in the DITA Open Toolkit. So that's just, that, that's just how simple it is to swiftly get uh, potent PDF output from DITA Open Toolkit using FrameMaker by doing a save data map as uh, to, to swiftly create the uh, book with components that we looked at just a moment ago. And this actually concludes our demonstration of working with uh, data open toolkit in FrameMaker um, achieving an equivalent book. Thank you.